Hello everyone, it is Sunday. Check in on in. I got a phone call to do a quick patch. Quick money. It's not a lot of money, but need the money and uh, I never say no to money. So here we go. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to fix a hole around the size of a basketball, a bit bigger than your hand. First you want to start with a bit of plasterboard and uh, a little bit bigger than the hole, trace around it and then use your knife and cut around that and make that shape on the wall. Here I've noticed a little bit of daggy edges on the left, so I've actually got a bigger piece and I'm going to cut out a little bit more on the left just to get rid of that bad edge. Next I've got my timber blocks and I'm going to stitch it halfway showing behind the plasterboard so we can stitch our new piece on for a backing. It's a good timber backing. And just be careful, don't push too hard, you don't want to blow through and cause any screws to blow out. Make sure it fits nicely. Carefully add some screws, at least one on each corner. And use your knife and make sure it's nice and flat before you mix up any mud. Now I've mixed up some corner cement and you'll see I've added a bit of salt to the first part of the mix on my hawk. And then I'm going to fill all the cracks carefully. And then I'm going to load it up and apply some fiber fuse tape. Fiber fuse is really good. It's strong. It doesn't bubble. And if you're just starting out, I recommend learning with this. A lot of trades people prefer it over paper tape. That's the first coat. I've gone out to get my heat gun and I'm going to come back and I'm going to heat gun it. Keep in mind, the stuff that's still in the bucket hasn't had salt added to it, no accelerants, and it's going to remain fresh while this stuff on the wall is nearly dry to do my next coat. After about five minutes of using the heat gun, it's ready to go for another coat. I'm going to use a bigger blade. For this, I'm going to pull out my 12 inch knife and I'm just going to go straight over the top with the same mix. And this mix actually has salt in it as well. So I'm going to leave, leave it as smooth as possible, as thin as possible. You can't use multi-purpose compound for this. It stays wet for way too long. You can't fill any big holes or cracks with it. I'm using Cornus adhesive. Uh, it dries like a rock, it dries fast, and it doesn't shrink. Multi-purpose just stays soft for too long, and it shrinks. You want to dry this as much as you can, especially if you're going to be painting it the same day. In this case, it's not getting painted today, so it can remain wet on the wall overnight. It doesn't bother me too much. I've just dried it enough to apply the next coat. Our mud is still nice and wet and pliable, so we're going to do the third and final coat, making it as smooth as possible. And that's about it. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, we did three coats with the one mix, and it's looking nice and soft. Just needs a sand on the edges once it's dry, and that's it. Ready to go, nice and flat. All right, that's it. Very fast, 40 minutes. I didn't earn a lot of money, but uh, I'm saving, I'm saving. 2020, year of productivity, I was not doing nothing. And uh, if you want to be 100% productive, you cannot say no to money. If you're not doing anything better anyway, don't be a Scrooge and say, oh, Oh, I'm not getting out of bed for that. If you're not doing anything, you get out and get that money. It doesn't matter if it's a small amount. At the end of the day, when the bell rings, get as much as you can. And that is being 100% productive. So, that was a quick little video. I will see you next video. Remember, keep hustling. Keep grinding. And don't be afraid to just smash out a cheap job just for the money. Do it for the money. Peace.